enough up to Instagram that I should probably talk about his progress. If you're not on Instagram, it's probably my favorite social media site. It's very visual. You can get uh, videos on there too, short clips. It's a lot more interesting than Twitter, which is just kind of a wall of text, did not read situation. So, uh, I regularly post up photos. Usually when I post up a video nowadays, I'm posting up a video clip. So Instagram's probably the best way to know what's going on with me, both at work and play, and uh, to get updates on how my son's progressing with his learning on bikes. So he's about, he's 21 months now. He first got on a Strider Pro balance bike at about, God, he started walking at 13 months, but he was climbing before he was crawling, so he's kind of a, a weird kid developmentally when it comes to movement, but um, he was scampering along the edges of things since, God, probably six months. First stood up five months in. So he's been pretty ahead of all milestones across the board. He's almost potty trained too, so that's cool. In a couple months, I might actually be using regular underwear. But that aside, he um, got first got on the Strider in March, so he must have been got 15 or 16 months old. And then uh, before that, though, I think around. October, November, he was on a step two plastic motorcycle. So he's already pretty advanced. He's uh, rocketing around on the the strider pretty easy. He actually lifts the front end up and goes over obstacles. He likes to take it up inclines, up over curbs, which just surprised the hell out of me. Uh, one of the first things we did was I'd have him sit on the bike, he'd grab the bars, put his feet up on the little supports, and then I'd pop wheelies with him on it, which was hilarious because he would start busting up laughing. And actually stand up as I'm as I'm running the bike around the apartment. So yeah, he's a little daredevil, and he's probably going to be a machine on on bikes and motorcycles. So I took him to the BMX shop the other day to get stuff for my bicycle, and um, he actually fits on the smallest BMX bike with training wheels already, and can dismount by himself. Uh, the only thing is, he's just barely touching the pegs. Like, he could probably pedal it if he could figure out how to pedal. But he's not there yet. He needs a bit more height, and I think he bit, needs a lot more confidence. So what I'm thinking is, at his two-year birthday, we might get him that little BMX bike, maybe a red line, and um, with training wheels, and let him scoot around on that, rather than try and go with, like, a Peg Perego electric bike and uh, potentially ruin his confidence. So I'd rather he use more physical strength and get more confident in maybe two and a half years, I'll introduce an electric bike. I don't really want to go gas because when I was a little kid, man, I got burned so many times by that little 50cc Indian and trying to keep up and maintain something that uses, mixes oil with gasoline 
while it is a simple bike, it's a lot more of a pain than just dealing with a well-made electric bike. So that's where I'm at. He, <laughs> he's probably going to beat me my four-year on training wheels. He will probably be not on training wheels and scooting around on a motorcycle. So, uh, it's been fun. He's a crazy little guy. Keeps me very busy, and that's why I have not had a very reliable upload schedule because uh, at best I might get a few hours before I have to just crash because he gets maybe nine hours of sleep, ten, and is up by four to six o'clock somewhere in there. So yeah, I don't sleep much and I haven't slept for what, 20 months? Um, he would always wake up several times a night since he was born. And just recently, I think his teething pain is over. All of his uh, baby teeth up until about four or six years, all of those baby teeth have come in. So thank God, because I was getting fried and now we're actually getting a full night's rest. Granted, our sleep schedule's all messed up because he would wake us up before, but it's getting better. And uh, hopefully he keeps this up. But um, overall, he's been an amazing kid to raise. Really fun, hilarious to play with. Just wants to run and jump. Oh, his most recent thing is jumping off of uh, the couch onto a pile of pillows. He actually goes over to the bed, gets all the pillows off the bed. I, and then uh, dive bombs off and just laughs his ass off. So that's fun to watch. <laughs> he was doing it without pillows, and then I put the pillows there, and now he knows, oh, this is even more fun. <laughs> so to keep him from breaking his legs, uh, I introduced him to an even more fun game. So that's the update. Fun kiddo. And I'll have more of these in the future for parents and people that are looking to get their kid into bikes. And if you have any questions about how to get them in, on a bike. I might do a separate vlog for that, but uh, I'll field questions if you're interested in this kind of stuff. But I'll see you guys later.